Happy the fifth anniversary of the Illumination's most beloved second sequel franchise, Despicable Me 2. So this movie has been released on July 3rd, 2013, five years ago today. So anyhow, so this movie was nominated on the Academy Awards for the first time in 2014 for Best Original Song and Best Animated Feature. And the Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Award winning for The Voice of Margot by Miranda Cosgrove. And the People's Choice Awards for, uh, well, uh, favorite family movies. And Behind the Voice Actors Award winning for Steve Carell, The Voice of Gru. So this movie, so anyhow, let me tell you the plot. This movie was about that I became the famous dad villain now. But then... Lucy Wilde's first appearance first met me at my house, the location where I came from. And so they, so I got a job in the anti-villain Lee to find the mysterious villain who has the PX-41 to turn some, some cre people or animals to into purple monsters. And the minions turn themselves into purple minions, or evil minions perhaps. But Kevin's been kidnapped. So anyhow, when I went to El Macho's lair and I defeated him, and Lucy and I got married, and Agnes was right all along. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and and Antonio, make love of him, and and I hate boys. Yeah, sorry. And and the, and the end credits. The minions, Kevin, Stuart, and Bob wanted to be on the auditions for this own film, Minions, on before it released on 2015. So the comments, subscribe, and this is Gru, Lucy, Margo, Edith, Agnes, Dr. The Fire, Kyle, and the My Minions, signing off, and thank you for supporting Despicable Me 2. Bye-bye.